Why does LEGO Technic use studless designs? In the past, back in the 1970s and 80s, LEGO used studded beams to make the framework for the Technic sets. They're a little difficult to work with, however, because the square corners often poke into whatever framework you're building with. Additionally, they stick out more on one side than the other, because the holes aren't aligned centrally vertically on the brick. It made it tricky for designers to work with. But there's also a slight inconsistency in the Technic bricks as well. Not only are the holes not centrally vertically aligned, they're also slightly too high. To match the system, they're supposed to be positioned such that placing a normal brick into the holes will align the side of the attached brick with the upper surface of the Technic brick. But it's just a bit too high. Then, in the late 90s, LEGO switched to using lift arms instead. These don't have the annoying studs and brick corners on them plus they're nice and square, making them a lot easier to work with for Technic designers. And there's no more errors in the geometry. Unfortunately, for kids, it's a lot more confusing to work with. Kids don't have as much of a natural understanding for how to work with Technic lift arms as they do for working with bricks with studs. So they've occasionally gotten negative feedback about this from people who really liked the older system. But it was essential for the evolution of the Technic system and LEGO is using this building style since then and there is no signs of going back again to the old studded building style. It's been said that studless building is like a game of chess, you need to be thinking several steps ahead all the time. Thank you for watching until the end and don't forget to subscribe.